Good evening. Today on Gear G. Thirty watt Spider Amp versus the Crate. Uh, sorry, I forget the name. I don't know what the name of it is, but it's a Crate 15 watt amp. You know, even though that is a big difference, you know, because this one is two times the watt, which, as some may say, it's two times more powerful. But that is not true. Just because it has more wattage doesn't mean it's um, doesn't, uh, just because it has more wattage doesn't mean that it's two times as powerful. If you click right here, you will be shown a link to a website discussing that. Anyways, so we will be discussing these two amps, comparing them about how much one sucks less than the other because honestly, these are both beginner cheap amps. And somebody would probably buy this being like, ooh, it's got metal settings, I'm gonna be a metal head, gonna pull noobs, but. Hey, that's if that's what you're going for, you can do that. But that's you're, you get what you pay for, and uh, I get what I pay for too because I just lost my pick. Oh. All right. So so I will show you a sound test briefly with the different settings. Don't expect much. Oh yeah, and also with this amp, it may not be for all amps, but for this one in particular, you have to hear this sound to get it right. There. So. Insane is just, <laughs> it's exactly what the name is in blind. So this amp, uh, if you're a beginner or you're just looking for a cheaper quality amp, or not cheaper quality, but if you're looking for a decent quality amp that um, will get you through the beginning stages and is loud enough to play somewhere, then I suggest getting this amp. It's a pretty good price, I believe, like um, this we got this one actually used for like sixty dollars. My range of it is like a hundred dollars, I think. So it's not the most expensive amp ever. So don't expect too much, but it will definitely serve your purpose for just getting 
to know the ropes of the guitar. So um, there's that. So now moving on, we will move to the cricket amp in just a moment. Well, so this amp, like I said before, is 15 watt. So even though, um, so if you're looking at buying amps, it's not always based off size. For example, since these, these two amps look the same, and some may say, oh, that means that they're going to be roughly the same wattage slash, slash um, what should we call it, uh, same volume, intensity, whatever. And that's not always true, so just look for out for that. Okay. Now that I got this done, I will be showing you the current amp, which does not have as many features as the Line 6. It has overdrive. If you push it in, overdrive out, it's clean. Uh, it's got reverb. This one particularly, reverb is just messed up, so I'm not going to try to bother with that. Um, but that so effects. It's again, it's actually probably a cheaper amp. I do too much research, but I will put in it in. I will research more of that. Anyways, here is a sound test of the Crate GTD 15 Watt. <laughs> problem with this one because this is old um, but it's again 15 watts so it's not going to be as powerful even though I said that just because it's 30 watts for the line 6 which is over there you can't see it but it's over there um, even though it's 30 watt it may not be as powerful but also um, it's just I don't even know but just think that <laughs> watts more watts is the better but um, but just in this case, this one is not as loud as the other one. So that is the basic sound test. Um, so overall, I would say that the Line 6 is definitely better quality. You're getting more bang for your buck, probably for that one, even though this one is cheaper than the Line 6. Um, the Line 6 will, A, be louder, so if you need to go perform somewhere, then you can do that. Uh, with this one, unless you're mic'd up, but, well, most of the time you're going to be mic'd up, but um, if you're just like at a small, you know, little bar or something, then 
you can just use the line six and that will do your job. This one, this was more like a practice amp than a performing amp. So if you're looking for like a practice, I suggest this. If you're looking for more like performing or just better quality sound, then get the line six. Uh, that's my review and it's Jake Bob out. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, subscribe for more reviews, practice videos, and all that fun jazz. Thanks for watching.